kind of like um, kind of a up and down experience. I, kn- I know for you personally since you got here, but wha- how would you kind of assess your time with the Lakers and obviously your contract situation with with the team option? What do you expect moving forward? Um, so first things first, I just want to control what I control, whether that's here or anywhere else. So just have a great summer. Um, work on the things I need to work on. Um, from a standpoint of view of uh, the season, I think I had a great opportunity to play for the Lakers. Um, turn the you know season around by going 18 and eight after All Star break, and then uh, playing in the playoffs. Um, you know, I'm just very thankful to have that opportunity, and um, you know, had some ups and downs. But at the end of the day, um, you know, we changed the culture. Uh, the three guys that came with me, Vando. And D-Lo, we changed the culture, so, you know, that's our main focus. <clears throat> Malik, were you, um, as much as you're willing to share, what was the tenor of, of your conversation with, with Rob and Darvin about uh, your chances of being here in the future? Uh, he says, uh, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to speak on it too much because you never know what could happen, but, you know, obviously, you know, with the culture that we brought here, uh, when we came here, he loves that and he wants to maintain that. So hopefully we can make something happen where I come back. Um, and like I said, I can only control what I can control. So either way, I'm going to make sure I stay ready. Malik, what was it like for you to play with LeBron and AD and how did that help your grain, your game grow? Uh, it was just um, amazing. You know, I got some stories like I went to LeBron's camp when I was in high school. So it just shows. And we played on the same team when we played pickup. Uh, it just shows that, like you know, that man's been a long, around the game for a long time, and just to be able to play with him is is, is crazy. And then my first game when I played for Denver um, uh, in the NBA, AD had 50 and like 20 his first the first regular season game, and I was like, wow, I'm in the league. This is crazy, and and now I'm playing with him. And then uh, when I was starting, you know, um, there was this. I think the star span of Bengal was going on, and I was just standing there. I'm like, dang, I'm really starting next to AD and, and uh, LeBron. This is awesome, man. I'm, I'm blessed to have this opportunity. And, like, let's go out there and work. And let's take take advantage of this. So uh, it's a blessing, man. Malik, uh, along the, the continuity lines with, with this group, you guys obviously made the Western Conference Finals. Wasn't the result you wanted, but but still a deep playoff run. What, what do you think the, the ceiling is for this group if, if you guys stay together? Uh, definitely a championship. You know, uh, just the fact that we weren't even here for the majority of the season just shows that, you know, uh, if, we, we, if we get a training camp together, if we get, you know, the first half of the season together, let alone the rest of the season, I think we could be really great. I think we could win a championship. We were right there right now. And uh, fortunately, you know, Denver played better than us. And um, like I said, I think I think I don't think a team can beat us in the seven game series again if we have this type of um, experience and play together and have a training camp together. Malik, you got to <clears throat> you mentioned LeBron. Um, you got to observe him over these past what, six, seven weeks since he came back from the foot injury. Um, mm-hmm. How much did he put? into this physically and mentally? And do you think that played any role in kind of what he said last night about contemplating his future? Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do with his future, but uh, the stuff I've learned from him is just this season has been amazing. Like when he was injured, um, he would juice for a certain amount of time and then eat certain days to help speed up the recovery process. So now I'm about to go juice for a little bit to see if that helps. Uh, <laughs> He's always stretching. He's always in the gym. You know, he continues to put in the work, uh, and that that and that motivates me to continue to do that too. If he can do that at his age, I know I can do that as well, and you know, expand my game to you know the maximum level.